Uh, okay, so one thing that I wanted to address today was in regards to, uh, you know, industry professionals, like how do you guys, uh, you know, f- form your LinkedIn profile, you know, or uh, how do you go ahead and uh, mention all of the skills that you've worked on on your LinkedIn profile? So in regards to do that, I'll start off from the different sections that you have in your LinkedIn profile, something that Balaji mentioned, but how do you uh, change it in regards to being a industry professional or an experienced person, you know? So you start off with your uh, title or your designation on the top. Uh, with the company that you're working with. And I see a lot of different titles uh, on, on LinkedIn profiles, something like, you know, uh, you're an aspiring ML engineer or, you know, you are uh, some specialist or at the same time, you know, you do this uh, like on the cloud and DevOps side of things, you do like five into AWS, four into Azure or things <laughs> like that, you know. Yeah, that's totally fine. That's that's great. You know, it, it allows people to see your title really uh, easily and it's short and crisp. It's It's nice. Uh, but then at the same time, you got to mention the organization that you're working for also, right? So even then you, uh, even though you go ahead and mention like, you know, four into AWS or five into AWS and all that, I would like people to also mention like, okay, this is the organization that I'm working for. So something from my experience, the reason why I'm talking about this topic is because while I was in Riverture in my first organization, I've conducted over close to, you know, 1,000 to 1,500 interviews for US-based candidates. And when I was in Coda or which is now Presidio, I was conducting interviews uh, for close to eight months for industry experience people. So while doing that, these are some of the things that I found out from their profiles that could probably be improved a little bit, you know. So the next thing that we have to talk about is the description or the about uh, kind of section that should be uh, short, crisp, sweet, something that, you know, is there in like three to four lines at a very high level. So not something like, you know, uh, Java or uh, .NET or don't put your skills in your about. Do something like, you know, I'm a person who's, who loves working with development, you know. I'm a person who uh, works with microservices or I'm an ML person. So in ML, what are some of the high level terms that you could mention, you know. So your about section should be something which is very high level. But then comes your experience section. Your experience section matters a lot, you know, when you are an industry experienced professional because ultimately you have worked for certain organizations. And I see a lot of people who just put only your organization's name And then your designation and then your start date and you forget about, you know, so that's not something that we want. So what we want is your organization name, your designation, your date of joining and things like that, but also a detailed description of each and every, uh, I mean, technology that you worked with, each and every implementation that you did for your client projects, probably not mention your client name, you know, if you have signed an NDA or something like that, but then you can mention that this was a particular use case that I, you know, uh, implemented. And at the same time, you can also mention these are the teammates that I have also worked with and I have helped the team grow. So that also shows some kind of leadership skill sets in terms of something that you could leverage at a later point of time in your career, you know. So your experience section actually plays a pivotal role because if you just mention your organization's name and not any detailed description, it's not going to be a really good LinkedIn profile, you know. So you got to mention your implementation knowledge over there, okay. And then comes your, uh, you know, Uh, The education section, which is something that most of the people just do only your college education and forget about your school education. So in LinkedIn, I would also like you to, you know, mention your, I mean, college education, your CGPA. And below that, you know, you could also go ahead and mention your, uh, you know, school education or your uh, 10th and 12th and so on. So that's how you build a really good LinkedIn profile. So your title on the top, uh, your about section, short and crisp and sweet, probably in three to four lines at a very high level. Your industry experience section should be something that is very detailed. So you could take a look at my LinkedIn profile, which I will later, you know, paste in the chat box over here, you know, where you could, uh, where you can see that each and every implementation that I did over the last, you know, two years or three years for my organizations that I worked with, all of those details are there in my experienced, uh, you know, section of my LinkedIn profile. And in terms of the skills section, in terms of people giving you endorsements for your skills, always mention something that you've only worked with, man. So, Until and unless you know like 80% of something, don't mention it on your LinkedIn profile. Don't even mention it on your resume because uh, each and every question that is being asked in an interview, the interviewer's mindset or when I am interviewing, the mindset would be like, if you are going to give me extra information, I'm going to leverage that extra information to probably throw you out of an interview, you know, probably make you uncomfortable, you know. So that's something that I would look for. So what I want you guys to also think about is whatever questions you are answering in an interview, it should be as short, crisp, and precise to the point so that you are, you don't get more uh, you know, uh, questions based on that particular topic. 
so that you finish that entire topic and probably move on to the next one you know that's the kind of strategy that you got to follow in a technical interview so something that i have been following for a lot of time i mean for a long time right now and i uh, just wanted to give you that insight you know so uh, very important experience people please study on a daily basis don't forget the studying aspects studies is very very important and once you keep studying you'll probably have more bullet points to put on your profile and probably keep doing uh, industry certifications you know because when it comes to linkedin and you see that certification you know uh, on your profile it could be a udemy cert it could be a coursera cert it could be anything anything that you did totally fine you know it it, it does not mean that you have to put only certifications like aws solutions architect associate or pmp or something that you you know paid to do you know it's it doesn't mean like that you know you could even still put your i mean like i said coursera or udemy certifications or nptel certifications for college uh, students you know because they do a lot of uh, i mean nptel certifications based on the partnership between the college and the nptel organization so those are also things that you can provide on your linkedin profile so be as thorough as detailed as possible so that you know uh, you have a kick ass linkedin profile and a lot of people start recognizing you and uh, ensure that you also put up posts once in a while you know so not necessarily to do it on a weekly basis or once in two weeks and so on if there is something interesting that you're doing you know if there is something amazing that you feel that you have learnt a lot from what you did i would ask you to share it on the linkedin profile the reason is because there are a lot of people who may at one point of time follow your profile and they would probably get to know about it so it's it's all about bringing a community in in place like something like the aws community or azure com- community you know so you have the linkedin community in place where you follow a lot of people a lot of people follow you you do good for them they do good for you you know something like that it's like a mutual agreement where you go ahead and build an amazing profile you share all, all of the things that you learn so that probably balaji uh, does not know about one technology but if i post about it he gets to know about it you know and vice versa it, it's it's always a mutual uh, i mean agreement in such a way that you learn i learn something like that you know so it's very important to understand 